Good morning. Good morning. And I'd like to welcome everyone to the last Sunday of the last day for this month of May 2015. As we bring May to a close, this will be our last service we will have in this beautiful hondo for the 2014-2015 Dharma School term. Next Sunday, we'll be taking our annual break to support the JACL community picnic. And two Sundays from now, we will have our annual end of the term Dharma School picnic and award service at Southland Park. And with that event, we will close our Dharma School term. How quickly this Dharma School year has flown by. And there are so many people who have done so much to make our Dharma School program so very, very successful. I'd like to thank first uh, Chairman Valerie Fong for taking on the challenge. Thank you, Valerie, for taking on the challenge and giving us a wonderful year of your experienced leadership. Uh, Carol Tamai for her invaluable help in maintaining attendance for our students, which is really no small task when we have a Dharma school of 300 plus students. Thank you to Cheryl Liu for keeping us out of the red and balancing our books as our Dharma school treasure. Thank you to Ellison, Ellison Wong and Matsue Devene for bringing the Kancho so beautifully each Sunday to begin our Dharma school service. A huge thank you to our 99 plus teachers, teachers aides, room parents, and helpers. <coughs> our Dharma school would not be the same without our Dharma school organist, Daniel Nishikawa, Rachel Nagai, Mark Ely, Gail Kono, Gracie Matayoshi, and thank you to Alice Kurotori and the Betsu Choir, to Myra Okazaki for beautiful piano accompanying of the organ and filling in as our Dharma school organist from time to time. And uh, I always owe a very special thank, to Gary, thank you to Gary Matsumoto, who's behind the camera there for videotaping each Sunday's talk and up uploading them onto the web each week. And I, as I mentioned, can't thank Gary enough because uh, Gary is the one who requested to video these Dharma messages over a dozen years ago. And then we began putting them up on the website. And through the internet, we have made Dharma friends literally around the world. And our local and not so local members have commented on how convenient it is to view Dharma messages when they're not able to be here. And some have told me that uh, they actually podcast uh, our messages, but I don't know what a podcast is. <laughs> so <clears throat> for those podcasting, uh, thank you too. <laughs> and when our Dharma school friends who watch us online come to visit from afar, we cannot help but feel a very special, <clears throat> special feeling of interdependence, a feeling of that the Dharma knows no boundaries and uh, really, Thank you to Gary and also Min La and Alan Wu for making it possible to upload these, uh, what I call these talks are Dharma hors d'oeuvres. Huh? Dharma hors d'oeuvres. Yeah. Thank you also to Cliff and Ann Adams for writing another creative Hanamatsuri play to Anaka and to Matsue Debeni for producing the play. Arigato to Gloria and Mrs. Rieko Inaba for preparing delicious refreshments each time we've had a guest speaker, to uh, always to Harley and Judy and the third grade teachers for uh, taking care of our go, the ochigo that we have in May at Gotanye. That is no small task. And uh, Sensei Grace also a very big part of that. Thank you to all of our minister's assistants of Team Besuin, Sensei Grace, Sensei Koichi, Calvin and Keith, to Reverend Tim and Carol when they're able to get out here to help us uh, when they're not in Marysville. And most especially to Reverend Patty for absolutely everything she does. Uh, if she did not come on board last year, 
we could never have maintained the many responsibilities we have. Uh, the bishop told me last May that he would have no one for over a year to come in and help. And yet, uh, uh, we were supposed to, expected to continue to do what we do and help our sister temples in the district, but I have uh, really, uh, wasn't for Reverend Patty, uh, could not do all that we do. And we certainly cannot overlook Reiko and Gladys and the entire Magic Dharma School kitchen crew, how they are able to prepare burritos, fried rice, chili and rice, or hot dogs for over 500 kids and adults each week is always to me an unbelievable feat. And it is obvious it takes many to bring our Betsu into life and to keep it going. Uh, there are those who said, I don't come for the Dharma message, I come for the food. <laughs> that's whatever reason you come, that's the best thing. And most especially, thank all of you for coming every week, filling our hondo with life and vitality. For without you being here, this hondo would just be an empty room with a beautiful altar. As I've often commented, it is all of your energy and your enthusiasm that gives life to our Betsuin. And your participation, your participation has made our Betsuin a temple that cannot be duplicated in all of BCA. Our Dharma school program and our Betsuin are great examples of interdependence for nothing happens in a vacuum. It takes more than just one person to make something this great come to life. It takes all of us working together learning together, and always growing together. And really, I thank all of you so much. Tomorrow, we begin the month of June. And as we enter the sixth month of the year, we cannot help but begin to sense that the year 2015 is not so new anymore. When we were young, I vaguely recall that the years seemed to crawl by at a snail's pace. I couldn't wait to announce that soon I would be another year older, saying things like, I'm nine going on 10, or I'm almost 15, because when I was young, that was the age, 15, you know, when you could get your license way back in the day. Huh? Although I'm in no hurry to grow older now, I'm still very proud to let everyone know I'm, I'm almost 67. And I'd like to invite everyone to my 67th birthday celebration. It's going to be Monday, August 10th. Coincidentally, 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 that is also the day of bazaar cleanup. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone, please come out. You know, Reiko and Gladys and the crew will be providing refreshments. Maybe Patty will have a cake. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, with the weather warming this past week, I knew that summer finally was really, really here. And if you read this month's Sangha newsletter, Reverend Patty wrote, with the many activities that we will be having through this well-scheduled summer, she wrote, this summer, RB and I are planning to go to the happiest place on earth. Yep. We have really uh, not been to Disneyland in decades. Huh? Really, have not been there. We both actually lived in Los Angeles. And when you live in LA, every time family or friends visit, it's off to Disneyland. Huh? And so we both knew moments in our lives when we were regulars. We were regulars at the happiest place on earth. Well, the reason we are making this rare pilgrimage is because this year, Disneyland is turning 60 years old. And since someone I know and love very much will be the same age as Disneyland in December, we are making this special trip. Don't want to mention any names, but... Well, you know, Reverend Patty also wrote in her Sangha article, <laughs> I think we all love Disneyland because it embodies our hope and dream to live a happy and enjoyable life. And she said, on that day when Walt Disney swung open the doors 
to his very own theme park. At the dedication, he said, to all who come to this happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. Here, age relives fond memories of the past. And here, youth may savor the challenge and promise of the future. Disneyland is dedicated to the ideals, the dreams, and the hard facts that have created America with the hope that it will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. Huh? Mm. Maybe we should have a sign in the front of the bed scene. Huh? Yeah. Welcome to the most meaningful place on earth, <laughs> or one of the most. But Reverend Paddy also wrote an article, in a way, the words of Walt Disney as he opened Disneyland also paraphrases the deepest wish that every parent silently has the moment their child is born. This month of May, we celebrated Mother's Day. And in a few weeks, we will celebrate Father's Day. And thinking of Walt Disney's words, it is very easy to imagine every parent holding their newborn baby and saying in their hearts, welcome to the world. May your life be filled with fond memories. And while you grow, may you rise to every challenge and create a wonderful and meaningful life. May you fulfill your potential and dedicate your life to the highest ideals, the dreams, and the reality that have helped to create the world around you. It is our deepest hope that you will live to become a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. I really feel this would be the silent wish of every mom and dad the moment their child is born. In Buddhism, we are taught that from the moment we are born, there is no guarantee of even one day of life. Each day is a gift not to be taken for granted. And knowing that this day we are living right now, today, will never come again, let us try to appreciate and live fully each moment, each day. For we know this also would be the wish of our parents. So with our Dharma eyes open, let us try to live each day well. With our Dharma eyes open, we live our lives of Nembutsu. We look forward to seeing you at the Dharma School end of the term picnic in two Sundays and also throughout the summer months. Of course, uh, after the Dharma School picnic Sunday, uh, the following Sundays, uh, we will still have Sangha services here at 9.30. And many people have remarked how much they enjoy these gatherings in a way much more intimate. So please continue to come. And uh, in closing today, I'd like to make uh, another, my usual end of term special request to our Dharma school parents and friends. Please come to help out with the Obon and Bazaar setup. And most spe especially on Monday, following the bazaar. Please, everyone, come to my birthday party, <laughs> which will also be our bazaar cleanup party. <laughs> the more folks that come out, the more fun it is, really. And the quicker we finish all of the cleanup. Thank you all for being a part of this wonderful temple. We'll see you in two weeks at the Dharma School end of term picnic. In closing, please join me in Gashyo. The silent wish of every new mom and dad holding their newborn child. And certainly it was the wish of Siddhartha's mother, Maya. Welcome to the world. May your life be filled with fond memories. And while you grow, may you rise to every challenge and create a wonderful, meaningful future. May you fulfill your potential and dedicate your life to the highest ideals, the dreams, and the reality that have helped create the world around you. It is our deepest hope that you will live to become a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. Namo Amidabhats. Namo Amidabhats. Namo Amidabhats. Namo Amidabhats.